Hello, we want to welcome everyone to worship this weekend. We are so glad that you have chosen to worship with us. Scripture says to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We are here to lift our voices, lift our hands, and lift our hearts towards Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And he is our way maker when there doesn't seem to be a way. Would you please sing with us today?
miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are.
the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around. That the Spirit of the Lord is here. The atmosphere.
the way everlasting. It's Jonathan from Southbrook, and I'm so excited that I'm able to introduce our Reach Missions Sunday. So at Southbrook, we do this probably three or four times a year where we pause from what we normally do and we give space so that our missions action team can update us and inform us on all that's going on with Southbrook's missions program. Here's why this is important for every single one of us. At Southbrook, Missions is not just one of those nice things that we have added into everything else. Like we have youth group and we have a young adult study and we have small groups and we have missions. That's not what it is for us. Missions at Southbrook is the lifeblood of this church. You know, it's our desire here to help everyone connect and grow with God. And that means everyone that we know here in southeastern Wisconsin. But that also means that we have strategic partners around the world, both the city of Milwaukee, and then we have strategic partners around the world that we want to help uh, influence and encourage those people to help spread the good news of Jesus. And so missions for us is just a part of everything that we do. And it's so important that we give it this time so that we're able to hear firsthand from some of our people um, on the front lines. And so this weekend with all of this services that we're going to put together on our REACH missions program, we're going to hear from our friends in Pakistan, a very challenging place, and we'll hear uh, what God is doing in this difficult uh, country. Uh, we'll hear about Royal Family Kids Camp, which is a, and that will be explained in just a moment, but that's something that we've been doing for a few years now, and I love the fact that Royal Family Kids is just one of those active ministries that we have here. Also, our students are just amazing at Southbrook, and they've been leading the way, and a few weekends ago, they had the chance to do many different service projects 
in and around the city of Milwaukee. So we'll be hearing from our students and adults as well who are a part of the, their summer serve weekend. Now, uh, remember a couple years ago, back in 2018, when we started the Bold Initiative, the entire emphasis of the Bold Initiative was that we were to expand our faith. The primary goal, the most important goal with that Bold Initiative is for every single one of us to grow in our faith, to grow in our love for Jesus. The secondary goal was for us to raise enough money to expand our facility. One of the things that we wanted to do when it comes to increasing our faith is we wanted to give more money um, up to even 10% of our total budget and dedicate that money for missions. And I'm so excited to be able to tell you that that is what Southbrook is doing now, which means this, when you give to Southbrook, you are directly helping some of these ministries that we are going to hear about today. There's many others that we are involved in. And so if you want to learn more, if you have questions, if, um, if there's something that we talk about excites you and maybe you want to get involved firsthand, just let me know. Let any one of the speakers know that you'll be seeing on this weekend video, and they would be glad to connect you to all that is going on with mission. So enjoy. Um, get connected. Let's be praying for these people. Let's be praying for these ministries. And I'm just so excited that we have this chance to hear and learn about all that God is doing through us, um, both in Milwaukee and around the world. Hey friends, my name is Dan Konopasik, and I serve as the communication lead on the Mission Action Team here at Southbrook. And I'm excited for you today, because during today's service, you have the opportunity to learn a little bit more about our REACH groups. These groups are split into three subcategories, and you can learn all about them on the Southbrook website. We have our REACH partners, our REACH projects, and our REACH prepared teams. Now, among our REACH partners, we have two that serve here locally in Milwaukee and three that work internationally. And one of those groups that you're going to hear from today is OM Pakistan. The OM stands for Overflowing Mercy. Our friends in that organization are Victor and Aram Lal, Adnan and Oshin Daniel, and Pervais and Lubna Iriat. They work for this organization. And here is a video that tells you a little bit more about what they do. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I am uh, thankful for your love, care, and continuous prayer and financial support. I feel honored to be a partner with you and uh, thank you very much for standing with OM Pakistan. You know, OM Pakistan, we are a team of about 100 people in 12 different cities serving for last 40 years in Pakistan bringing the good news to the hopeless people unreached people and many hundreds and thousands of people are coming to know the Lord and this is only through God's grace and his mercy upon our lives that he is using us in this needy an unreached nation. We uh, are also affected a lot because of this COVID-19 coronavirus as like all other around the world. But Lord has been using us since March uh, 2020 that we were able to distribute about 3000 food package. We served uh, about 3,000 families with ration and food packages. We also provided hygiene kits to above 3,000 people and we also uh, supported pastors and full-time ministry workers with cash grants and we were able to serve about 150 ministry leaders and this is uh, God's grace that in this at this hopeless time that uh, Lord has been using us for his purpose and glory and we try to cover all different uh, criteria of people we were able to reach 
bricklaying communities, sanitary workers, and daily wages uh, people who are earning on daily wages. So in this way, Lord has been using us for hopeless people. خدا کے شکر گزار ہے کہ جس نے ہمارے ان بھائیوں کے وسیلے یا او ایم ٹیم کے وسیلے سے ہمیں یہ جو بھی گفٹ دیا ان کا بہت شکریہ اور بہت مہربانی اور آج یہ زندہ سچی گوائی کلام کے بارے خاص طور چیک کے بارے میں کلام کے بارے میں میں آپ کو سچی بات بتا رہی ہوں دو دن پہلے میں شام کو بائبل پڑھ رہی تھی تقریباً تھوڑی آتی ہے چل جتنی آتی میں پڑھتی ہوں تو نا میں نے ایسے کھولا اس کے پیج جو نا یہ سارے خراب ہوئے ہوئے تھے کافی سالوں سے جب میں دیکھتی میرے دل سے آنا خدا مندہ سچے خدا مندہ مینو بھی کلام دے دے وہ ویکھو خدا نے ایسے میرے واسطے راہ بنا دیتے ایسے مینو سوچ بھی نہیں گمان بھی نہیں تو تلیمے تلیمے بالغا دی وجہ نہ مینو بائبل مقدس نہ ملے مینو سب تو زیادہ اس کلام دی خوشی ہوئی ہے میرا نام پاسٹر صدیق لوکا ہے جی چرچ نارو منڈی سے بلونگ کرتا ہوں اور میرا دل خدا کے حضور او ایم ٹیم کی ساری خدمت کے لیے بے حد گزاری سے بھرا ہے یقینا او ایم کا سلوگن ہے کہ لاو کارڈ لاو ادر اور حقیقی مینوں میں او ایم ٹیم جو ہے وہ نہ صرف انجیل کی بشارت کے ذریعے لوگوں کے اندر یسو کی محبت کو شیئر کر رہے ہیں بلکہ وہ ان موجودہ حالات کے اندر خادمین کی اور بہت سارے لوگوں کی فائنینشلی سپورٹ کر کے بھی مسیح یسو کی اس لاہی محبت کو دوسروں کے ساتھ شیئر کر رہے ہیں ڈورنگ دس ریلیف ایفرٹس we tried our best to serve the people without any discrimination and during this time lord has uh, helped us so we were able to came across with different seekers and people who are really looking for true hope so we are getting new contacts and we are keeping in touch and uh, sharing the true gospel message with these people and nowadays during this difficult time we uh, are using a lot uh, social media for uh, reaching to people and in this way we are uh, in the last four or five months we were able to reach 60,000 or more people with the clear gospel message on our through different uh, webinars and on weekly clear gospel message online and also we are running weekly uh, Bible study groups Alpha Bible study groups and we uh, are uh, organizing running five bible study uh, sorry prayer groups on daily basis and then uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, 14 weekly discipleship uh, discipleship groups we are running and in this way lord has been using us to reach to so many people through media ministry through zoom through facebook through webinars and things like that because this is what we believe as OM Pakistan we are called for this and we are committed to reach as many as possible and we want to see vibrant communities of Jesus followers in this land God bless you thank you very much Southbrook. We are Joe and Barb Brooks from Southbrook Church here, and we're active with the Missions Action Team, and we're here to thank our friends from OM Pakistan. Barb and I were blessed in November 2018 to visit Pakistan, and we saw firsthand how God is working through OM Pakistan. As we're all aware, 2020 has been a year that has tested our flexibility our ability to change and to do things differently, sometimes at a moment's notice. We're all a family kids camp is one of those things that had undergone change in a big way. Here to tell you about Royal Family Kids Camp 2020 is Southbrook's children's ministry pastor, Helen Ergen. 
Good morning, Southbrook. I'm Helen Ergen. I'm the kids pastor here, um, and I have brought my friend Lisa Bly along with me, and we're going to tell you about Royal Family Kids. Lisa, tell us what is the mission of Royal Family Kids? Well, the mission of Royal Family Kids is to minister to foster children ages 7 through 11 and give them just a positive week of life-changing memories. There are 2,000 kids in foster care in Milwaukee County. Who are the kids who come to camp? These kids are actually all in foster care, and by definition that means that they have been traumatized in some way, either through abuse, a, a neglect, or abandonment. And so they come to us through the social services agency. Um, they refer to us, the kids that they think will be a good fit for our camp, and we have them for a five-day camping experience um, where we like to say 100 hours, which can make uh, a tremendous difference in their lives and really even change the trajectory of their lives. So camp is amazing. Tell us what happens at camp. It is the most fun. Um, the kids tell us sometimes that this is something they look forward to the entire year, especially our returning kids. And um, it is a week that is filled with some traditional uh, camping activities like fishing and swimming and archery and all those fun things outside. But then we have um, special events created just for Royal Family Kids. Things like everybody's birthday party. Some of our children have never had a birthday party in their entire lives and they treasure um, this time uh, the, where, where they are celebrated. We also have um, a tea party, a dress up tea party, where the kids come uh, dressed up to the tea party in beautiful outfits, are escorted to their seats, and um, are just treated like royalty. And even the boys get involved in that, and they do love the cookies at, at the tea party, so that might be a motivating factor. I think one of my favorite parts of camp is that we get to share God's love. We have chapel every day with the kids, and we tell them stories about God's faithfulness. Uh, we tell them that they have a Father in Heaven who doesn't abuse them and who will never leave them and who so loves lovely. them so much. That's really an important part of camp, too. It absolutely is, and um, one of the neat things is that they leave camp with a um, an MP3 player playaway with some of the Bible skits and all of the songs that we've sung at camp. And so they can take that home with them. They can take that message of God's love home with them. We actually are able to build relationship with these children because they come year after year. They do. Once a child comes to Royal Family Kids, they are part of that Royal Family forever. And they are invited back each year. Even if they become adopted family, they still have the option to return. And that's where we see that life-changing difference start to happen when they build those relationships with those caring adult role models um, who are just pouring God's love into them year after year. And um, they, we truly see the transformation happen. So who makes all of this fun happen at camp? Well, truly it takes an army of volunteers. Uh, we take about 100 volunteers with us to camp, but it starts so much earlier than that. We have volunteers that help us get ready for camp, um, helping us with planning activities, organizing materials, even shopping for different things. And then um, we have, of course, prayer partners that are you know, praying with us. We have fundraising that happens. We have a Starfish Walk 5K run that we have each year, um, usually in May, that helps us fundraise for the camp. And then when camp actually happens, we have all kinds of volunteers there as well. We have day volunteers who just come out for the day, but our primary um, focus is on recruiting volunteers for the camp experience, which would be uh, that five-day camping experience, a full-time volunteer. And um, we we like to say that when one person says yes, two kids start packing. So for each child that you know we're able to bring, we need volunteers. We have a very small ratio between um, counselors and between the kids, just a one, uh, one adult to two camper ratio. So, and lots of people help you with all the fun activities at camp, like those tea parties and birthday parties. So there's a there's really a place for everyone, I like to say. Any age, um, if you've got a talent, you've got a heart to serve, even if you don't feel like you have a talent, or even if you don't think you're great with kids, you know what, we're gonna find a place for you to serve and make a difference. Yeah. And the exciting thing is that those volunteers come from all over Milwaukee County. They really do. Um, one of the neatest moments as we're preparing for the kids to come on Sunday night is we have a meeting with our staff and we do a countdown of all the churches represented. Usually we have volunteers from over 20 churches that are represented uh, by our volunteers, which is just a, a picture of the body of Christ coming together on behalf of the kids. 
But camp is just one component of our program, and you're very familiar with the next portion of it. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Right. When the kids come home from camp, we can keep our relationships going with them through Royal Family Kids Club. And club is a mentoring club. We pair kids up one-on-one -on -one with adults. And they come and we have club all during the school year. And then the mentors also agree to spend four more hours with the kids each month. That really builds relationships. It does. Uh, we, however, don't have to end even after camp and club and the kids age out. We have another organization that the kids can transfer into. Yes, we have a sister program called Milwaukee Teen Rich Adventure Camp. So once the kids um, end the Royal Family Kids program at age 11, they have the opportunity to then move on to Teen Rich Adventure Camp. And um, that's exciting because then we have the opportunity to really be involved in their lives from as young as seven all the way through adulthood. Uh, we had a young lady who was uh, part of our program named Micaiah who came to us as a seven-year-old at camp, stayed with her those days of, I mean, those years of camp, and then she transitioned um, into um, Team Reach Adventure Camp. And even through all of the ups and downs of being moved from home to home, um, failed adoptions, being moved all the way out to Madison, her mentor Pat stayed with her that entire time. And she said, as uh, she came back uh, several years ago as a, a volunteer and shared her story with us, she said that was the, that consistency in her life of having that mentor was the, the hope she could hang on to during those traumatic times. So 2020 has been the year of cancellations. Did yes. you have to cancel camp this year? We did not. Um, we, we chose to do a virtual camp actually with the kids, which started with a kickoff parade. We were the only camp in the nation uh, that did a parade for our kids. Families came, we set up stations around the ch uh, church, and they visited all the days of camp and then left with a care box where they could do camp at home. Then we also met with them in virtual cabins with counselors and other support staff. And uh, we just received amazing feedback from the caregivers that thank you for not forgetting us. These kids need to know that they're not forgotten. And that was uh, the most impactful thing for them, that, that we still cared enough to show them that you know we would put together this virtual camp. It made a big difference in their lives. We're going to give you a taste of that uh, with a short little video clip right now. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. Thank you, Helen, for sharing about all the awesome things RFK was able to do this summer despite not being able to meet in person. Next, we're going to be hearing from Nikki Hawkins about Mission Milwaukee, which took place instead of our other mission trips that we were going to do this year. We were very sad to not be able to do the other ones, but God always provides. 
On August 6th through 8th, about 30 students and leaders joined together to do a local mission trip right here in Milwaukee. COVID has caused so many things to be canceled, including our scheduled mission trips, but I believe it also gave us an opportunity to partner and engage with some of Southbrook's ongoing partners. Here at Pregnancy Resource Center, we sorted and organized and prepped their supplies in order to serve their clients. Milwaukee Rescue Mission, we sorted and organized hundreds of school supplies. We painted, we cleaned, and we did general upkeep. Hope Street, we built, it, we built a much needed shed, um, more solid and larger so they could fit all of the things they needed to fit in it. We did indoor and outdoor upkeep and some deep cleaning as they serve families. In basics, we labeled checks as they prepare for an outreach later this month. At Our Daily Bread, we, um, another pregnancy resource center, we organized and cleaned for them. And at Just One More, we created over 700 masks in order to help them continue to serve our community. Each day, before and after serving, we spent time reflecting on our hearts and how Jesus was working in each of our lives, as he continuously asks us to serve him out of love. Micah 6 8 sums up our heart for this year. It says, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Thank you all for being a part of Southbrook and for participating in our REACH missions program. I love, love, love hearing from our workers in the field, hearing from our workers overseas, and hearing from so many of us who are involved in missions right here in the southeastern Wisconsin area. So I just want to thank our friends with OM Pakistan and the Peace Project. I want to thank Royal Family Kids Camp and for all the students and adults who participate with Royal Family Kids Camp. And I love seeing our students, uh, our Ignite Youth Group students serve locally around the area here. There are so many different ways for us all to be involved in missions. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let one of our mission action teams know. We would love to connect with you and get you plugged in more to the missions that are going on right here at Southbrook. So let me wrap up our service in prayer. Lord, thank you so much. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to celebrate, to hear what you are doing. Lord, thank you for giving us the privilege to partner with friends both locally and around the world. I'm so thankful, Lord, that there is a heartbeat of missions here at Southbrook. Lord, I just want to thank all of the people who are involved in this church for the ways that we prayerfully support, the ways that we financially support, the ways that we personally support so many different great mission organizations, both locally and around the world. Lord, continue to hold us close. Continue to help us have that heartbeat of missions here at Southbrook. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everyone.